I want to show yeah. you, you. People remember you as a star impeachment witness. You got a, a subpoena. That was much ado about nothing. Ari. Well, why was it important for you to say no more Trump because of his January 6th conduct? And do you stand by that? No, I don't stand by it. And I'll tell you why. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Sorry for the lack of content over the last few days. I've been sick again. It seems like I get a cold every couple months after the kids bring something back home from school. But I'm back and I have a clip that I know you're all going to thoroughly enjoy. It happened yesterday on MSNBC with one of their worst, Ari Melber, and his panel that included one of the biggest never Trumpers that there ever was in the media. And I think that you're all going to be very surprised by his take on a possible Kamala Harris regime victory. So check it out, then stick around for a bit for my take and a bonus video. Why was it important for you to say no more Trump because of his January 6th conduct? And do you stand by that? No, I don't stand by it. And I'll tell you why. I've now lived four years under the Biden-Harris policies, and I have to say that those policies are not only becoming an existential threat to our country's way of life, but to our allies as well. I've been saying it for 10 damn years. Ain't I been saying it, Miguel? Huh? I've been saying it. So when you, and it has is, to, this is, no, so no, let me, no, this is, I'll let you already, finish, but no, this I is so finish. striking. You said it was a no for me after that, I did, after January I did, 6th. I did. And here we are right now. I did. And you're saying it's a yes for you. It is a yes for me. <laughs> it is an absolute yes for me. That is how badly the Biden-Harris team have prosecuted their job. But the whole point you seem to be making was that January 6th and that kind of attack on democracy is bigger than any but policy I'm see, I am seeing so many attacks on democracy that eclipse January 6th. Yes, God damn it. Yes. So I want to ask Sarah. If you want to ask are, me what those I are, I'm happy. Well, I want to have, I'm not going to go Sarah in the back. I you but this is, I appreciate. Kamala Harris why she flip-flopped on 16 things. Oh, look, I appreciate everyone one. being here. Drive. Drive. Would you please repeat the destination? Oh, anywhere, just go, go. There it is. How insane is it? The things that I was saying four years ago on this channel are now being said by legitimate never Trumpers. Oh, you must be very proud of yourself. Like I've said many times, if you're worried about authoritarianism, if you're worried about tyranny and losing freedoms, it's gonna come from the party that has all the institutional power. It's really quite simple. Our institutions in America are the guardrails against authoritarianism and tyranny because authoritarians would need those institutions in order to operate. If Trump wins the presidency and literally wants to be an authoritarian dictator, he would never be able to pull it off because every single one of those institutions that he would need are aligned against him. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Especially when it comes to the media and the justice system because they wield all the information, the propaganda, the enforcement, and the punishment. As we've all seen already, Democrats can get away with turning our institutions into a weapon against their political opposition, and they can do it because those institutions are willingly going along. Meaning we literally have no guardrails when the Democrats are in charge because those guardrails have been weaponized against their political opponents. If you just happen to be a normie or a Democrat who is watching this right now, then all of that our democracy propaganda that the country has been bombarded with over the last few years should be starting to make more sense right about now. Because in a pure democracy, the Democrats would have total unending control. And they've been trying to normalize that idea for a few years now. If Kamala Harris happens to win this, then the left and the Democrats are going to see it as a mandate to push even further. And I guarantee you, Mark my words, they will abolish the filibuster, the electoral college, then stack or abolish the Supreme Court. And that's not even mention the reckoning that would transpire against the Democrats' political opponents in this country, which popular figures like Destiny would cheer on and give legitimacy. What Destiny just described is how out of touch he is with MAGA and how emotionally filled his opinion is. Such a reach. Considering emotionally filled, um, filled the, the fact of the matter is, is that your candidate and his vice president running mate on his ticket right now, neither of them will acknowledge the outcome of the last election. That disqualifies the majority of you, in my opinion, from even being able to vote again for at least like three elections. I mean, you can call it what you want, but the reality is, is you guys are f delusional. Like you still live in a fantasy land and nobody's ever made you uh, reckon with that. And it should happen. You're short on ears and long on mouth. This guy has become hugely popular over the last few years 
and is constantly trying to normalize the idea of government violence and force against his political opponents. So yeah, the actual existential threat comes from the Democrats and their institutional support base. Donald Trump can't even get anything done when he's legitimately elected as president, as we saw the first four years that he was president, much less become an authoritarian dictator where somehow all the institutions are now doing his bidding that could never in a million years happen. But I think that we could all see that easily happening when it comes to the Democrats. Because everything they would do to us, they would just justify in their heads as saving democracy. Look, you may not like Trump. You may hate Trump. But the fact of the matter is, voting for Trump is the only way you're going to save the Republic at this point. A vote for Kamala Harris is a vote for a one-party authoritarian state. And that's just reality. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.